All right, so this is the Keeley Synth One, completely crazy new pedal from Keeley Electronics. Also, I need to say, check this video out to see me playing bass through this pedal. It is wild and crazy. And I mean, you can imagine. This is like a synth generator guitar pedal that has a lot of sort of familiar controls if you, you know, work with synths at all. Um, you've got your little wave shape generator down here on the lower right. And you can choose between like a square wave, sawtooth, or a sine wave. Each one of those, you know, has a different characteristic and uh, different sort of octaves that it excites when you activate this um, chaos control here. But for controls here, we've got upper left, uh, your level, overall level. Uh, to the right of that, we have this attack knob, which um, as you turn it to the left, delays the attack of your signal. So if I've got it all the way left, it's gonna be a very gradual uh, sort of fade in. And then as I turn it to the right, it fades in quick. So it's kind of the, you know, the, the speed at which it fades in. Down below that we have our blend knob. So if I've got this all the way left, I'm not going to be getting any of the sort of synth part of the sound. So you could use it just like a volume swell if you have your blend all the way left. So. So that's not doing any of the synth generation because I've got my blend all the way left, but it is still doing the attack. And of course the level still applies, you know, when your blend is all the way left. So it's sort of two sections here. You got your kind of left section and then this crazy synth section over here. So this synth is just wild and crazy. It's really fun to play with, you know, guitar going into an amp using these kind of sounds. I'm used to these kind of sounds when I'm playing, you know, my synths and when I'm making records and things like that. But really on a synth, you kind of have, I mean, you have a bunch of knobs and stuff, but you have your input control is just kind of a note. Whereas on a guitar, um, you, you know, you have the potential to do different things. You know, I'll, I'll, we'll just say it that way. Like you can hold a note for a long time and sustain it and I can do a little vibrato on it. I can sort of expressively um, go over multiple strings. It's kind of interesting, you know, this attack knob, it will trigger, you know, if you come from silence. So if I'm not playing anything and then I play something, it triggers that, you know, that attack. But then if you hit a note um, while you have a note sustaining, that attack will not be there. So, so you have to like mute it in order to get that attack. And sort of learning that, I was able to kind of, you know, manipulate it so that I, I could make it come in when I wanted to and then not make it come in when I didn't want it to. So it's kind of cool that it dynamically responds to your playing in that way. And it's just the coolest thing when it goes away, when you have a sound and then you, you mute it, it's kind of, that, that filter closes in around it. So rather than just fading out, it kind of goes Ew. So over here on the synth side, let's look at this. The saw wave was like my favorite one because it triggered this like upper octave. The other two sort of trigger this like lower octave to my ears anyway. And especially with this chaos control up, when you put it down, it's sort of a simpler, more sort of monophonic um, kind of synth sound. Let's bring this attack up just slightly here. And then. So it's still kind of crazy, but when you flip that chaos switch up. There's just, uh, there's more harmonics, there's more overtones, and you can really trigger that upper octave if you um, sort of at more extreme settings. 
the main note we're hearing there is an octave above what I'm playing. I'm, you know, I'm playing, I'm playing, and we're hearing, you know, we're hearing that. Whereas if I have this chaos switch down. It's just so cool sounding. And then if we go to the square wave here, that's like an octave lower. Again, if we flip this down, it's just a little crazier in chaos mode. Let's go to sine wave. So here's sine wave with this switch down. That almost has like, if, you, if you're familiar with the synth, like the portamento uh, control, where it'll kind of slide up to notes. Wee, 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 wee. It has that sort of effect. I mean, that really sounds like an analog synth, like a Moog or something. And then flip this chaos switch up on the sine wave. It almost has a little double tracking uh, kind of effect to my ears on the sine wave. But my favorite is this sawtooth wave because of that upper octave. Ah. Also, the saw wave had the best tracking for like when you try to play chords with it. Really fun. And then also, you may have seen at the end of the demo, a new chord appeared over here, a new cable. And that is hooked up to an expression pedal that is down at my feet here which you can't see because I don't have three cameras. So when the expression pedal is plugged in, it controls this filter here. So right now I've got it. I'm going to go to the heel, which is which would be represented by all the way down here on this filter. And then I'm going to slowly turn it up, which would have the effect of me turning this knob, you know, all the way from zero to 10. So I'm going to start at zero, slowly go to 10. So this pedal can do a crazy amount of things and from subtle things again, like, you know, if you bring your blend all the way left and uh, bring this attack knob to the left, you just got a little auto volume swell, which could be really useful for like, if you have a little um, delay and reverb on there or whatever. can do that with it or you can just go to absolute crazy town with it as well and with the addition of this expression pedal again you can really tweak it and control it not only with the pedal you know but also again like I said with your playing so if I have this attack you know set somewhere kind of in the middle maybe a little bit to the left of that my blend kind of most of the way up I'm gonna keep this reverb and delay on just because um, that's kind of fun I mean, lasers, aliens, 
pop stars, whatever sci-fi thing you want. You could use this for a movie soundtrack. You could use it for a noise rock band. You could use it in a pop band. You could use it under a tree. You could use it with your knee. You could use it in a boat. You could use it with a goat. This thing is tons of fun and so interesting and different. That's gonna be it from me today. Let me know if you have any questions about this pedal down in the comments below and we'll see you all next time. <laughs>